Hi, everyone. Do you also feel lost among the plethora of data available with the HR dashboards with no clear insights? Would you also like to identify the characteristic of a successful employee among the loads of resumes available, enabling a more informed recruitment strategy? Do you also want to identify risk factors for attrition and develop a targeted intervention to retain key talent? Here comes HR analytics to help. HR analytics helps in identifying inefficiencies in various HR processes, from recruitment to performance evaluation and much beyond. This can help you to streamline your operations and cost saving. It can help you in strategic planning workforce needs, budgeting for training and aligning HR strategies with the overall business goals. Today, we are going to talk about a very powerful tool, Tableau, which can help you gain interesting insights from the big data and uninteresting data available from HR dashboards. Now first, what is Tableau? Tableau is one of the data visualization tools that enables users to create a wide range of interactive and shareable dashboards while handling real-time data. It can help you in understanding complex data sets, identifying patterns, identifying trends, and creating insights as well. It can connect to various data sources like SQL spreadsheets and cloud services. And you can work on different formats like CSV, text, or even Tableau servers. The best thing about Tableau is it does not require any technical skills to work on it. It is a very simple and a user-friendly tool. Let's explore how we can use Tableau to turn your boring HR data into a set of resources to recruit more effectively and create an equitable workplace. So for this example, what we'll do is, I'll show you an HR data set first. After that, we will turn that data set into graphs, charts that can help you identify your insights from it. Now, let's see the data set. Now, just for this example, I have taken a data set of 20 people. But in an actual company, the data set is hundreds of rows and hundreds of columns. Now, even looking at this, are you able to identify any trend? Are you able to identify who has left or which team is handling higher attrition, which team has less attrition? What is the ratio between male and female? How many people has left us? No, right? This is a data set which is actually of no use to us. But how do we make it useful? That is where our Tableau comes into play. Let me first open Tableau. I have installed the same on my laptop. So this is the interface of Tableau. I have logged in and done all those basic stuff. Now what I'll do is I'll import the dashboard that I showed you. Okay. Now you see the import has been done. Now first what I'll do is first sheet I would create and here I would take out the data of the total number of employees, the attrition and the total number of active employees in numbers. So what do I do? First I need the number of employees. So what I do here is I create a calculated field. Employee count. Now what I do is I just give a simple command count employee name, the number of employee name that we have, right? I apply the same. I put it here and I change the form to text. Right, you can see the total number of act employees that we have. Now, next, I want to create the total number of people who have left us attrition. So here, what I do is I will have a simple formula. Why formula? Because when you see the table, when you see the dashboard, it contains attrition, yes or a no. So I'll, I'll put a simple formula if yes and no. Okay. So if 
attrition is equals to yes then one else zero and i'll end this form if yes if attrition is equals to yes then one else and attrition okay so what i'll do is i'll apply this and then again, I'll pull this down here and I'll put it as text. Can you see the number coming up? Right. Now, let me calculate the total number of active employees. Right. So how do we calculate the total number of active employees? The total count of employees minus the people who have left us the attrition. So for this, again, I go and create a calculated field. Active employees. Here, what I do is employee count minus sum of attrition. You see that it is also visible. Now, what I'll do is I'll just give the names, whatever headers that I want. So I want that. Okay. So this employee count should be above. So I'll write employee count. Below, I'll write attrition. And here I'll write number of active employees, right? Now you have a data. Now let's get some more interesting insights out of them. Now in the second tab, what I would want to show you is if I want to know the number of attrition by gender. So what do I do here? I will simply put gender in the rows and I'll put the attrition count in columns, right? So you clearly get an insight, right? There are so many females. There are around seven females who have left us and there are around four males that have left us. Okay. This is a more presentable form of data. Now I can get an insight that, okay, there are more number of females who are leaving us. Now, maybe I, I do not like these colors. Maybe I feel that, okay, there must be some other color to this as well. So I just pull the gender down to colors and then I edit colors. So for female, maybe I want pink and for male, maybe I want blue. Right? You get the data in a very interesting format. Right? Isn't this going to give you some interesting insight? Now, let's move on to see what is the attrition by the department. So, what do I do here? Is I put the department and I put the attrition card. I get a very good idea that, okay, there are about six people in content who have left us HR four and operation once one. That means content team is facing a high attrition. Now, maybe, uh, I, I do not want it in this form. I want it in a different form. So what do I do? Maybe I want it in a pie chart. So what do I do? First, I put the department to colors, right? Now I have the colors. Okay. So what I do is I may, I might want to give different colors to content HR operation. So for content, maybe I want green for HR. I'll let this color be now. Now what I do here is I want to 
see the number of people. This has given me a pi, but it has actually not given the actual percentage. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this to angle. Now, this gives me an exact replica of the number of people who have left us in the form of a pie chart. But the departments are not written. So what do I do? I just change this label. Right? Now I can get to see that content has a higher attrition. Right? Doesn't this give you a very good idea as to the as to what is the attrition by HR operations and content in a more different format? Doesn't this data give you the attrition by gender? Doesn't this data give you the total number of people who have left us? Compare this data where you do not have any 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 trends that you can see while you compare this data where you can clearly see the total number of people, where you can clearly see the total number of attrition by gender and where you can clearly see the attrition by department. Isn't it so amazing? Aren't you amazed by the power of Tableau here? Can you imagine the interesting and important insights it will give you that can help you improve your business? By these stats, you will have a clear insight that, okay, I need to focus more on content attrition. There are more number of females that are leaving us. What is the reason? So you can get a more practical insight and that can help you work better. Yes, this is what is the power of Tableau. Turning a complex data set into a powerful insight. This is going to go a long way and help you take very strategic and data-driven decisions. So what are you waiting for?